my season's done. This has been a long season, folks. I've let a bunch of deer walk. And I got some stuff I gotta do tomorrow, and then I gotta go back to work. So I'm taking the first thing that comes, that's him. You know, the one that hooked up on the one I let walk the other day. I can see some horns from here. Let's go get him. Uh, folks, I was going to wait till about 4 o'clock to start rattling. That quarter tail, I couldn't wait any longer. I saw squirrels start running around and birds started chirping and carrying on. I thought, hell, yeah, activity's picking up. So I just went ahead and put the horns together and beat them a little bit and ran it a few times and put them away and started watching downwind. And I seen them coming. I'm telling you, it's, it's brushy down through here. It's all getting shot. That first shot, I don't know if I missed him slick, if I just grazed him or what, but he just stood there behind a tree for me. And then he started sneaking back the way he came. Folks, he's a good one. Oh, the monkey. That's a good buck. Right there's where I whacked him. I did not the horns off. Yeah, I took that eight point in there. He ain't real wide, but boy, he's a good toss on the gun. That's where that first bullet hit him. He was facing me. I'll be dang. Just about. Just about blowed his horns off. I was trying, he was facing right at me, and I was trying to put one right into there. And I guess I could have hit, hit a limb or something. And, or maybe he turned just a little bit, I don't know. But, whew, boy, that was almost a mess up bad. It must have rattled him enough he didn't know what was going on. And, he just stood there for a minute and he walked out from behind that tree and he was headed back down this hill. He had came, he came from that away, come through this junk here, got out right here and started coming right towards me. Well, I'll just break his back. So I was up pretty high in a pine tree. Whew. Man, I can't believe I almost screwed that up. Which I did screw it up. It just got lucky and he didn't run. Oh, boy. I could see his head coming out, headed back the way he came from. And I just put it there blow his ear and let him have it. That's a good buck. Times good old buck. Well, that's a good buck with the very meat 
stick on 260. That gun hardly ever lets me down. That's been a good rifle. Well, I gotta get this big son of a gun out of here. Whew. Well, some Marty out here in those arc outdoors. Back in the big bucks. Well, folks, I'm going to have to cut this big sun gun up in pieces and pack him out. I can't drag him out by myself. If it was good flat ground all the way, it'd be one thing, but I've got a whole bunch of low-down timber up here to have to pack him through. and It's just, just too hard. I'm hunting by myself way out here in the boonies. Long ways from the truck, but that's where these big boys hang out. They actually grow up places like this. It's hard to get a good shot when it's nothing but brush and growed up clear cut, that's all it is. But that's the price you pay if you want to kill a big one. Gotta get off the beaten path. Get out there where they hang out. I knew there was a another good one in here though, because I saw a good eight pointer the other day just up the road here. He had three does with him. Main beams broke off on both sides, the ends of it. Both G2, G3 was broke off of it. He had brow tines. One G2 on this side. And then this was broke off and broke off there too. So I knew something had, had a hold of him. I don't know if it was this guy or if there's a bigger one than this one in here. But this is a pretty good buck. I'm pretty happy with him. He ain't real wide, but he's got... He's probably got 12 inch tines anyway. That's 10 inches right there, so... Kind of bladed out. He's, he's a good one. Just about let him get away though. Tried to shoot him right through the top of the shoulders from up high and I, I don't know, it's so brushy. I, I bolt my head a limb before it ever got to him and then grazed his antler and ricocheted went no telling where. Luckily it dazed him enough he just stood there. And when he, he was behind some trees for me when he turned and Started back the way he came from. I whacked him right beside it, right below the ear, right in the neck. He'll usually drop him every time that spot. But we got him. It's been a long season for me, folks. I've learned a lot of deer walk. Just about let this one get away. But we got him. Marty out here in Ozark Outdoors. Good luck in all your adventures and thanks for watching.